I mean, here's the thing. I, when I, like I said, when I first met Derek, you know, Derek's from Colorado, mm -hmm. and um, you know, he's telling me this idea that he he, he wants to turn into a movie, and uh, I said to him, so where do you see this taking place? And he said, I, I don't know. You know, mm -hmm. could be New York. I mean, that'd, it'd be easy to shoot in New York. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, and he meant the city because we lived in New York City at the time. And I said, well, I, it's funny. I kind of see this. I think it would be interesting to tell this story in the kind of town that I grew up in, mm -hmm. you know. And he's like, well, where'd you grow up? And I said, well, Schenectady. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, my, wife's, my wife's from Schenectady. Oh, yeah. So um, yeah. when I would write, I would think about all, I would, I would put a lot of this specific stuff into the script. Now, some of the specific stuff that I put into the script, he had seen when he would go visit his wife's family. Some he hadn't. And when we went to scout for locations, I would take him around to some of the stuff that, like, uh, I always had, um, uh, you know, the, the bank robber's son living right next to Vale Cemetery. Yeah. And I always showed him Vale Cemetery and, uh, you know, how can you not, you know, it's just an amazing location, you know, mm -hmm. he, he loved it, you know what I mean, he got it. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, is that for me, this was an easy, uh, again, it's the inexperience of, of doing it and having to find ways to make it easy for yourself and limit yourself so that it's easier to actually execute the work. For me, having it be in Schenectady, it was just easier to tell the story because I, I got it. I got what the look was like, so I knew the tone that it would have to be. And when he would read it, he would get that even having not lived there, and then he would go back up there and see what I was talking about. Like, oh, I see. Of course, that, 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 that sort of sent him in new directions, too. One of my favorite kind of things about that is that we always started it at the circus, actually, at, at uh, what used to be Knickerbocker Arena in 1993. Mm -hmm. It's always at the circus. And um, when it came time to shoot the movie, he was like, well, there's no, you know, there's no way we can shoot at the circus. It's too expensive. And he's like, you know, I know that you can rent these guys, the Globe of Death guys, so you can put them in the parking lot of your uh, car dealership, right? And you can, when you open up your car dealership, you can have this event. And I was like, maybe we should, he's like, maybe we should do that. Maybe we should start the movie in a car dealership. I was like, you want to start the movie in a car dealership? <laughs> and I knew they were shooting in the summer. They shot the whole thing in the summer, even though we'd always kind of thought of it as being every season and blah. Mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and I said, well, look, you know, they got the Altamont Fair in town, and when you're shooting, you should consider shooting there. And I, I knew that my mom grew up in Altamont, and I'd gone to the Altamont Fair, you know, every year since I was born, um, uh, uh, probably in vitro, I don't know. Uh, and um, um, uh, and I suggested it, and they looked into it, and that's where they shot it. And, and you know, it just is perfect, you know what I mean? And it's like... Uh, so it's sort of like, um, even if it wasn't actually called out in the script, it became a kind of thing where the more he started scouting locations and looking around at, at these places, mm -hmm. I, he once described it to me as, Schenectady is the town that just keeps on giving. <laughs> 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 he described being at some, he described being at some, because we always had this guy who was like, uh, ran like a, you know, uh, you know, a uh, 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 car fix-it place that he owned himself. And he went up and down, I think, uh, not Route 5, but uh, like Altamont Avenue or something, looking at places. And he, he saw some place where a guy had his little baby, it's like six-month-old baby in like a, a part of a bumper <laughs> resting, near the, uh, resting near the car where he was working. And he's like, oh, he's fine. You know, <laughs> you know it's just stuff like that. You know, just, uh, you know, he got it. So 